Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about Glide Aggregate class, which I feel is the most underutilized class, and we end up using Glide Record instead of Glide Aggregate. The agenda of this video is the introduction of Glide Aggregate, and then we will do a comparison between Glide Record and Glide Aggregate, and then we will see a short demo of Glide Aggregate. So first of all the introduction glide aggregate is also an extension of glide record class and it allows us to do database aggregation like count sum minimum maximum average so you can get the count of how many incidents are assigned to a particular person maybe to a particular team what is the sum of integer values and you want to show them to the user or you want to use it for some calculation Similarly, we can use minimum, maximum or average of fields and we can also apply queries to our glide aggregate. Next is glide record versus glide aggregate. We can count the number of rows through glide record as well as glide aggregate. So if you are aware about glide record, you can use gr.getRowCount. But glide record has scalability issues because it retrieves each and every record with the query and then counts them. So it is not like count all the records in one shot, but it will do one by one. Whereas Glide Aggregate gets its result from inbuilt database functionality, which is much quicker and doesn't suffer from scalability issues. So it is more advantageous to use Glide Aggregate when you are counting the records or maybe getting the sum or average of those records. There is one disadvantage of Glide Aggregate when you are using glide aggregate you are not able to access the details in a specific record because it is getting all the record values in one go so you cannot access those values like in glide record so glide record is good for where you have to only count or take out the sum or minimum or maximum but if you want to access some specific records you should go ahead and do it with glide record but if you have to do both activities, then it's better to use both of these in conjunction. For example, you are using Glide Aggregate to count the records and then you want to run the number of times those Glide records you have to retrieve. So it really depends on your use case or what you are trying to achieve. Next is the syntax of Glide Aggregate. So in the first line, you have to declare an object of the glide aggregate class and then you have to pass the table name on which you have to apply the glide aggregate then you have to add a query for example categories inquiry or you can leave it behind if you want to traverse the whole table and even you can pass multiple queries or or queries as well next is you have to add the aggregate ga dot add aggregate and then you have to give what exactly function you have to do for example count so if you want to count the categories next is if you want to order by those categories so for example if we would have selected multiple categories then it will order by those categories and it will show you the results so for example if we were having different categories like inquiry network so it will show us the records in an ordered way then you have to do ga.query which will actually fire the query to the database so you have to use ga.next and then you have to get the aggregate so ga.get aggregate and we'll be getting the count of those categories in a variable for example incident count and then we can display it or we can use it in our logic in this particular loop now let's quickly see a demo in service now how can we use this glide aggregate we will be using the same code in the previous slide in the background script I will type background script in the filter navigator and I will click on this and I will paste the code so it is the same code which I showed you in the slide and when I run this it will show me the count of all the incidents which have categories as inquiry so the total count is 38 now let's take another example where I will go to incident list and I will try to retrieve an encoded query. I will click on the filter and I will try to filter out two categories. For example, category is inquiry or maybe hardware. 
I will run this so you can see the count is 48 so 38 would have been for inquiry and the other 10 would be for hardware I will copy this query I will go back to my script and I will remove this second line and I will add GA dot add encoded query and I will paste this script if you're not sure about GA dot add query or add encoded query so these are the classes which are inherited from the glide record if you want to learn more about glide records please click on the top right corner now my query will return the inquiry and the hardware categories as well and I'm not making any other change and when I run this script you will be able to see it has displayed 10 count of the hardware and 38 count of the inquiry categories so this is how you can use glide aggregate in your code to build your logic and run your code more effectively and in a faster way I hope this video was helpful to you please let me know in comments if you have any questions thank you